Now, if you've been watching my live streams lately, you know we've been doing a lot of mechanical skull sculpting and demos and uh, game res and baking and substance painter and stuff like that. And I'll have a playlist for all this eventually, but in the meantime, we can talk a little bit about this feature. So we can go through here, and like we already know, we can paint through spotlights. I'm going to have my standard brush. We're going to go to RGB up to 100, and we'll go ahead and just paint through spotlight onto our skull here. And then we'll do shift, shift Z to turn that off. You're going to see we have a bunch of painted detail on here. However, if I go in here and turn off the poly paint, there's some detail in here I could transfer. Uh, I can go through and kind of sculpt and transfer this. Now I could poly paint and sculpt at the same time, but a lot of times I like to go through here with Z add turned on and RGB off and use my poly paint to kind of dictate where the sculpted detail is going to go, like all these dark recesses and stuff that need to be kind of sculpted in. However, sometimes it can be kind of hard to see, like when I'm sculpting, I'm like, well, and then I'm kind of sculpting out, like am I sculpting out far enough, not far enough? So I want an indication of where the detail is, but I want to kind of knock my poly paint back. In the old days, what you'd have to do is go up here to RGB, turn your RGB intensity down, have a white color selected, and then go to color, fill object, and kind of knock it back, but it's a very, very destructive way to work. But in ZBrush 2020, what you can do now is you can go over here to render, and let's go ahead and double tap this divider over here, and we'll grab our render menu, just dock it. And you're gonna see there's a fade opacity now. So you can turn this on, like you can turn it all the way on, or you can just kind of fade back your RGB a little bit. And now you can kind of see the detail from the poly paint, and you can see your sculpt a little bit better. And if you want to, you can swap your material underneath. It makes it a little bit easier if you haven't filled in your material yet. Hold down Shift, and I'm gonna turn off RGB and keep my Z intensity up. And now I can go through here and I can, so I can sculpt and smooth and hold down Shift and then fader opacity uh, back up or all the way out. And I can determine a little bit easier and better where my detail is gonna end up, if it's gonna line up with my poly paint without having to do something destructive like knock it back with RGB. And it's you know super quick and easy in the, in the render menu.